Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome back to my kitchen for another quick and easy delicious recipe. So today I want to share with you my recipe for high protein vegan pesto. This is really quick and easy to make and it's really really delicious. It doesn't use any oil and no nuts so if you have a nut allergy this is perfect for you. So let's get into the recipe. Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. So for this I'm going to be using my food processor. You could also do this in a blender but you may not get as coarse of a consistency. So it just depends how thin you like your pesto or how chunky you like it as to which piece of equipment is ideal to use but I like to do mine in my food processor. So first up I'm adding in half a cup of basil or basil as my American friends like to call it and this is actually care of my friend who has grown this in her garden and nothing beats fresh herbs. They are just full of flavour and it just makes such a difference to cooking when it's fresh. So half a cup of basil going in. Next, I'm adding quarter of a cup of hemp seeds. These are optional, but they do make it delicious. One third of a cup of nutritional yeast flakes. So these will add a nice cheesy flavor. So traditionally, pesto would use Parmesan cheese, but this is a great vegan alternative to add that cheesy flavor into the pesto. So for the high protein element, in addition to the hemp seeds that are in here, I'm going to be adding some frozen peas. So these have been thawed out. I just covered them with a little bit of boiling water for about five or 10 minutes and I've strained those off and they're ready to go in and ready to use. I'm adding in three tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of tahini, I also have two cloves of garlic. You can add more or less depending on how much you like the taste of garlic, but I do really love my garlic, so I've got two big cloves going in. Some salt and pepper to taste. And then I'm going to give this a blitz up and check on the consistency. If I want it more runny, I'll be adding some vegetable stock, or you could just add water if you wanted to, but I do like using vegetable stock. It just adds a little bit of extra flavor. So again, depending on how runny or how thick you want this mixture will depend on how much added liquid you add to this mixture. So I'm going to just get this going and check on what it looks like. Okay, so this has been pulsing for about a minute or so. I'm just going to scrape down the sides just so everything gets nice and chopped up. But that is looking pretty good. I don't even know if I'll add extra liquid to this today. I might keep it a little bit thicker. So you could leave it thicker and use it as more of a dip or quite a thick sort of sauce to mix through pasta or through mashed potato. This is absolutely delicious mixed together with mashed potato. Or add that extra liquid like I was saying and have it quite saucy over some different dishes that you're making. Okay, so I'm just going to give this another pulse up. Alright, so another minute has passed and oh, it smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to give this a taste test. So you can see it's quite thick at the moment. Like I said, you can mix this through. It's beautiful with mashed potato. Or add the vegetable stock just a little bit at a time till you get the consistency that you like. But, oh, it, that basil, oh my goodness, it smells divine. Mmm. Oh, yum. It just tastes so delicious. Quick and easy to make really good for you and if you wanted to you could even add some extra spinach leaves into here and it is fantastic give it a go let me know what you think and why not join me in my facebook group where we share lots of tips tricks and ideas for plant-based recipes absolutely delicious meal ideas and also if you're struggling to create easy meals then I do have a meal prep course as well. I'll leave a link to that below if you want to check that out because cooking shouldn't be hard and plant-based lifestyle should be easy, enjoyable and healthy and that's what my recipes are all about. Quick, easy, delicious, in and out of the kitchen with tasty food. Enjoy. Mm -mm. Yum, so good. Mm. Mm -mm.